Hey guys, Perfect Cell here. Uh, I'm back already, and I'm going to be showing you how to do a basic tutorial of Nmap through Command Prompt. Uh, I trust you've already, mm, sorry, I trust you've already installed Nmap, and you've got the uh, system path correctly. You, pff, how I stuff that one up? Um, you should already have it installed and if you install it on Windows 7 or 8 and I'm pretty sure it works on XP as well it sets the uh, system path so you can go nmap and it will show up all this um, if you can get an error like this nmap is not recognized as an internal or external operating program or batch file or something like that uh, just shoot me a message and I can give you a quick fix uh, the link to my profile is in the thread you got this video from or if you just stumbled across this on YouTube just yeah you should google around or sign up to hack forums find me yada 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 uh, either way, this is how you do it. Uh, first you need to go nmap, since we want to launch nmap, otherwise this is just command prompt. We go nmap, dash r, which means regular scan, like, you can go like dash, question mark. Oh, I spelled nmap wrong. Whoops. I need a new keyboard. And um, if you do this, it'll show you everything you can do, like every single flag you could use, but uh, since we're going to be doing just a regular scan, you just go dash R and then you target. So I'm just going to do this address again. And like I said in the other one, I don't own this. Educational purposes, quote unquote, a lawyer before you use MAP, yada yada yada. And press enter. And it will do exactly like it did in the GUI version. It'll start the scan, let you know when it's starting it. And now we play the waiting game. It's going out, scanning all the addresses. We'll give it a couple of seconds. Sometimes their map can take a while, which is a bit annoying. But, um, yeah, if you have a problem and it doesn't like to scan or anything, uh, I've actually got no permanent fix for that because some people have this error. You tell it to scan, it won't finish scanning for ages. It'll just keep scanning and scanning and scanning, never stopping until you tell it to stop. Hopefully, I don't have that. I don't know what causes it. I don't know if they fixed it. But, uh, here we go, just as I blinked. Um, as you can see, this says it's closed, FTP data is closed, FTP is open because you can see it here it gives you the port number and it gives you the service that usually runs on that port it tells you SSH is open, HTTP is open which it should be for a website POP is open which is a post office protocol aka mailing I still I can't remember what that one is, I should google it quickly but I can't be bothered uh, secure HTTPS another mailing service, this is simple mail transfer protocol secure uh, I'm not sure what that is to be honest uh, take a note, some of these ports, apart from port 80 of course, could be other services running on that port. That doesn't necessarily mean it's FTP because it's running on 21, but there's a high probability since a website it is, because that's just standard protocol. Uh, basically, that's Nmap for Command Prompt in a nutshell. Like I said, if you want to just get more information for what things you could use, if you want to do a uh, IPv6 address, just do that. Uh, that's basically it. Thanks for watching, guys.